In this simple example, we're going to use a Mass FX rigid body modifier to cause two marbles to bounce off one another. To begin with, I've got two spheres positioned centred on the x axis one larger sphere with radius 7 and a smaller sphere with radius 5. We'll need to apply Mass FX rigid body modifiers to those spheres to make them behave like marbles. The easiest way to do this is to use the Mass FX rigid body toolbar. So right click on an unused section of the existing toolbar and select Mass FX toolbar to cause it to appear. Far left icon is the display Mass FX tools, Mass FX tools dialog. This is used to put in settings which will affect the entire scenario. In this particular case, we'll turn off the ground plane because we don't need that. We'll turn off gravity. We'll also arrange for the simulation to stop at the end of the frames which we'll be recording. Having done that we can then begin to apply the modifier to the marbles and configure it. First click on the larger marble and apply the Mass FX rigid body modifier by clicking on the Mass FX icon on the Mass FX toolbar. This will apply the rigid body modifier to that sphere. Let's go through some of the settings that we'll need to establish for this simple example. Leave it at dynamic. Scrolling down, turn off gravity and turn on high velocity collisions because it's a little bit more realistic for marbles. Scrolling further down, we see the mesh type is currently set at convex. We'll set that to sphere so that it matches the geometry of the marble. Further down, we'll see the initial motion. At the moment, the marble is configured to move in only the X plane, as you can see the 1 put in next to X. We'll leave it at that because we want it to roll along the X plane and put in a speed of about 100. Under that, there is a setting to set up the initial spin. The spin will be on the Y plane, a rolling action. Let's just give it a spin of 100 once again to make it behave a little bit more naturally. They're about the only settings that we really need to change for this example, so we'll leave it at that. Now let's do the same thing to the smaller marble. Apply the modifier and then scroll through the settings, making changes as needed. Firstly, turn off gravity, turn on high velocity collisions. Change the mesh type to spherical. And that's about all we need to change there because that sphere, that marble, is going to remain stationary until the other marble runs into it. Once we've got that set up, we can then play the animation. Click on the play icon on the Mass FX toolbar and we'll see the marbles roll together and collide and bounce away from one another. To record the animation, we need to turn on Auto Key and play the simulation. This will record the animation for us to render. Turning off Auto Key at the end and we have a full animation sequence now recorded. This can be rendered in the usual way and with some materials and lighting added, the end result is quite effective. 